General Charking here. I've just been putting up some decorations, as you can see. A bit of holly, some of these lights. Can't get them all to work, can you? Can't expect them all to work. Anyway, I've been reflecting on the year gone by, and it's been a very good one. You might see that it was only on February I posted my first video, and it's been a hell of a year for learning. Been in court a couple of times, made some very good friends, the anti-terrorist, John Harris, many more of you, listed as friends here. Well, I've been thinking about you too, and what I want to deliver here is what I'll call my Christmas lecture. And there's a couple of points I'll be raising, important points, but most of all, I want you all to have a good time. I want you to look forward to your Christmas and a wonderful, prosperous new year. So here goes. Our country is now operating fully underneath the Lisbon Treaty, and the European Commission has full primacy over our parliament who act as a conduit for European law. Now, there's a constitutional problem with this. It's unlawful and invalid. The following comes from bcgroup.org.uk. That's British Constitutional Group. .org.uk. Now, the Declaration of Right and the Bill of Rights clearly state that no foreign prince, person, prelate, state, or potentiate hath or ought to have any jurisdiction, power, superiority, preeminence, or authority, ecclesiastical or spiritual, within this realm. So, it can clearly be seen that every EU treaty imposed on us by a parliament is unconstitutional. Here is the evidence that our present monarch indeed has broken her coronation oath by giving royal assent to these treaties. Heaven knows why. So right now it rather appears that just in time for Christmas there is no lawful government at all in this country. It is a foreign government How's that for a Christmas present? Well, they certainly wrapped that one up well, didn't they? No, something else they wrapped up too. The Commission's accounts have been rejected 14 years on the trot. That would make it a plausibly criminal enterprise. You try doing that and see what happens. And right now, in supporting unlawful foreign criminal government, which, by the way, is demonstrably a Politburo dictatorship in pursuit of a new atheistic empire based on arbitrary morality. We are tacitly accepting its terms. In this interim period, before the liability is attached to us via the transmitting utility of the European citizenship. Heard of that? A European citizen is a legal person of legal fiction, subject to the statutes and codes called laws, but actually legislations of the Commission's diktat. Are you a European citizen? Thing is, there won't be an alternative for you. UK citizenship will expire. Tacit consent will be assumed. You'll get your new card in the post. Reject it, and you're out in the cold. Otherwise, you could be a free, natural sovereign of England, but unable to claim the benefit privilege of the corporation afforded in commercial law and admiralty maritime jurisdiction.